The next example we're going to do is OF2. Now to draw OF2, again, Mr. Bergman is pretty good at drawing these. So again, I, I have done the math ahead of time, or I've seen these too many times that I know them by heart. Okay, how many uh, electron pairs, Mr. Sands? On the oxygen, I see two unshared pairs and two bonded pairs. So we're looking at four clouds or four things. Yes, four clouds. So if we go to four clouds, but now we're down to this yep. uh, shape right here where we have two electrons that are unshared mm -hmm. and two that are bonded. Yep. So that shape is the Called bent, bent. 104.5 degrees. degrees. Now, again, to look at that, it's derived from the tetrahedral shape, the one I've been doing, but I just popped off the two atoms. So we have two bonded pairs here and two unbonded, unshared pairs here. Bent. Ooh, do I have that built? I don't. I can build one now. This next one we're going to do is SO3. Now, again, I'll draw the structure S O O O. And actually, there's a double bond on one of the O's. And that would be four bonds. You're going to want to copy these down. So Mr. Bergman is doing this here. Now, on this one, if you were to count how many things there are, you've got two single bonds, I'll call them the SB, and one double bond. So that's a total of three things, three electron clouds. So I have three electron clouds, so I use my shape paper here. Three electron clouds, and they're all connected by bondeds. Bondeds, bonds, even though they're single or double. There's no double distinction here. So this is called the trigonal planar shape. Trigonal planar. Okay. Okay, so if you want to see an example of that, here we have a trigonal planar molecule. This is the, the sulfur and the oxygens coming off it with the single bonds, and then the springs here represent the double bond, trigonal planar. All right. Hey, we just discovered something interesting about your shape. Paper. Yeah, there's an error. We'll, we'll oh. fix it, by the way, um, for you to see this, but on the chart here, this should the SO3 is not SO3 negative 2, it's just SO3 is an yep. example of the trigonal planar um, substance. Okay, let's do uh, another SO2. one, SO2, sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is very similar to sulfur trioxide. That's what it's called. Its name is sulfur dioxide. So there's one sulfur and three oxygens. And on this one, it looks like this. Again, how many... You're missing two. Oh, I am missing two. Thank you. How many uh, clouds around the central atom? Uh, I, I see three clouds. We've got the one unshared pair. One unshared. We have one single bond. One single bond. And we have one double bond. One double bond. And remember, don't count the double bond as two. It's just one cloud, one thing. That's so three things. Right. So, so we go to three things, uh -huh. three things right here, and then if you've got one extra pair of electrons, then this is this shape, which we call bent 120 degrees. Okay, so to look at that, uh, we've got bent 120. It looks real similar to the last one we saw, but instead of an atom being bonded here, we have an unshared pair at the top. Good. All right. I think we've got a couple more examples, Mr. Sanders. Mm -hmm. I2. The next one is I2, iodine. Now, iodine is actually super easy to draw. It's I, I, and then there's six electrons around each I. Actually, eight if you count the bonded pair. Now, this one's interesting, Mr. <coughs> Sams. How many are there around? There's no central atom. No. Hmm. Well, let's just take a look at the shape paper on this one. And so if you look at the shape paper right here, what you have is when you just have two atoms, regardless of whether it's a single bond, double bond, or whatever, it's just called linear diatomic. Diatomic, meaning two atoms. Yeah, di, yeah, diatomic. What does that look like, Mr. Sams? Just like this. Uh, two atoms together, bonded, that's it. Yeah, pretty simple. Okay, I think we're going to do one more. The last one we want to do is HCN. When you draw HCN, and just as a note, H will never go in the middle. And yeah. if you see carbon, it almost always goes in the middle. Yeah, so there it is. Now okay. I count uh, two clouds or two, yeah, Coming two off clouds. Of carbon, yeah. You've got one single bond and you've got one triple bond mm -hmm. for a total of two. So this is a two cloud system. Okay. So in a two cloud system, you have uh, two clouds with two connections. It's this shape. And if you look right here, that's called linear triatomic. So this is linear triatomic. 
Okay, so that looks a little something like this. I've been put an unbonded pair that, uh, for the one that goes off of nitrogen. So we've got our triple bond here with the springs. We've got our hydrogen over here, and you can see it's in a straight line, linear. So that's how you uh, figure out the shapes. Use the shape paper, determine the number of, uh, of things, electron clouds around the central atom, and you should be fine. Use that paper. Yep, it's okay. your friend. Yep.